साउंड स्पीड ऑफ साउंड इन डिफरेंट मीडिया स्पीड ऑफ साउंड इन डिफरेंट मीडिया यू नो दैट साउंड ट्रेवल्स बिकॉज ऑफ वाइब्रेशन ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इफ देर आर मोर पार्टिकल्स इट विल हेल्प द साउंड मूव फास्टर राइट सो साउंड विल मूव फास्टर इन सॉलिड्स दैन इन गैस बिकॉज द पार्टिकल्स इन सॉलिड्स आर मोर डेंसली पैक दैन इन गैसेज Look at table 2.1 on page 167 and see if this is true. Look at the title of table 12.1. It mentions the speed of sound at 25 degrees Celsius. Why is it necessary to mention a certain temperature? Think, what happens to the particles of a substance at higher temperatures? The particles move faster. So, that helps the sound move faster that means the speed of sound increases when we increase the temperature of a substance however note that this has to be in a closed space if it's in an open space the particles will just go away from each other more and then the speed of sound will decrease sound travels better on cold winter days than it does in summer Why does this happen? First of all, note that this is an open condition, not a closed space. In an open situation, the particles come closer to each other when it is cold. So, there are now more particles in the same area and that helps the sound travel faster. Question 1. In which of the three media, air, water or iron, Does sound travel the fastest at a particular temperature? The speed of sound depends on the nature of the medium. So in the above case, in given media for a given temperature, sound travels fastest in iron. Speed. Have you heard of supersonic sound? When the speed of any object exceeds the speed of sound, it is said to be traveling at supersonic speed. For example, bullets Jet aircrafts etc often travel at supersonic speeds. Question 6 Flash and thunder are produced simultaneously. But thunder is heard a few seconds after the flash is seen. Why? Flash and thunder are produced simultaneously. But the flash is seen first and then the sound is heard. This is so because the speed of sound in air is much lesser compared to the speed of light in the air page 174 question 8 what do you have to do ratio of times taken by the sound wave in air and aluminium what is given to you data in table 12.1 on page 167 how can you do it first find time of each and then find the ratio Get all units to the SI system and solve. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Therefore, time is equal to distance upon speed. We want to find the ratio of time of air and time of aluminium. Therefore, T air upon T aluminium is equal to speed aluminium upon speed air. Since distance is same for both air and aluminium, that cancels out. refer to table 12.1 to get the data therefore t air upon t aluminium is equal to speed aluminium upon speed air is equal to 6420 upon 346 which is equal to 18.55 page 174 question 13 what do you have to do find out after how much time a splash is heard What is given to you? Height of tower, speed of sound in air and g. How can you do it? Draw a diagram to figure it all out. First, the stone travels all the way down to the pond. Then the sound of the splash travels all the way up the tower. so first t stone down then t sound up okay let's do this step 1 
find time taken for the stone to reach the pond we can do this by using equations of motion s is equal to minus 500 meters u is equal to 0 meters per second a is equal to minus 10 meters per second square therefore s is equal to ut plus half at square therefore minus 500 is equal to 0 into t plus half into minus 10 into t square therefore minus 500 is equal to minus 5 into t square therefore 100 is equal to t square therefore 10 is equal to t therefore the time taken for the stone to reach the pond is equal to 10 seconds step 2 find time taken for the sound of the splash to reach the top s is equal to 500 meters v is equal to 340 meters per second t is unknown now v is equal to s upon t therefore t is equal to s upon v which is equal to 500 upon 340 which is equal to 1.47 seconds therefore the time taken for the sound of the splash to reach the top is equal to 1.47 seconds what next step 3 add up both the times the time taken to hear the sound of the splash is 11.47 seconds. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.